Greetings to you, my brothers and sisters, and may the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. I just quickly want to share two very important messages that the Lord Jesus Christ gave to me for his children concerning the year 2023. So the Lord showed me these two things sometime last week, but I just couldn't get the time like to share them. So I woke up at midnight for prayer. And when I was done, when I went back to bed after my prayer, that is when the Lord showed me two things about the year 2023 in a dream. So the first thing is I saw a war. The Lord just showed me a war. And then on the war, I could see that there were some words that were engraved onto the wall. And when I read what was written on that wall, it said, if only you knew how much the Father loves you, then you would, you would all give yourselves up to him completely and seek him. And then the bottom sentence on that wall said, this year, 2023, angels will be your friends. And when I read the last sentence that said this year, 2023, angels will be your friends. And then I got the understanding in my spirit that this is, go this is going to happen to people who are going to give themselves up completely. In short, what the Lord was saying is that this year, the Lord is releasing a lot of angels onto the earth to minister to his children because the Bible says that angels are ministering spirits that minister to God's children here on the earth. So the Lord is releasing a lot of angels onto the earth to minister to people in different ways. And there's just going to be a lot of angelic interaction, you know, like angels bringing messages from the throne of God to his children. And there's just going to be that close, you know, because uh, that close uh, fellowship between God and his children. And then also when I saw that message engraved onto the wall, I could, I got the interpretation in my spirit to mean that even while we are here on the earth, we can still have access to our Father without any limitation whatsoever if we come in alignment with Him by forsaking the things of the world and focusing on Him instead. And then the second message that the Lord gave me about the year 2023, I saw myself in a room where I was with these two people and I knew that they were a couple, they were a husband and a wife. And apparently these two people were prophets of some kind. And then when I was talking to them, then they wanted to pray for me. They said that they wanted to pray for me. So the husband is the one who, who went first. And you know, he started to pray and then he started to, uh, to say a few things, like uh, a few words, like in some tongues, but I could tell that it was fake. And then he was like, oh, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, I can hear you, Lord, I can hear you. And then he turned and said to me that uh, I can see, you know, I can see in the spirit, I can see that there is a war up against you. So he was saying there is a war, a battle against me. But when he told me that message, I knew in my spirit that he did not receive this message from the Lord. But he knew about the war that's against me in the spiritual realm, simply because he is from the kingdom of darkness and because they are the ones who have been fighting me. And so it was obvious, you know, it was an obvious thing. It wasn't a prophetic word of any kind. He did not receive this message from the Lord. And he said, 
I can see there's a war up against you. You know, let's pray for you. So he starts to speak some words like he's praying. And then the wife who was seated on the other side, because I was seated like this, then the man was seated like this, then the wife was seated on the other side. So the wife uh, gets up from her chair and then she starts to speak in tongues. But I could, I could sense it in the spiritual realm that these were not tongues of the Holy Spirit, that she was actually speaking demonic tongues. And she started to speak in demonic tongues. And then I, I thought to myself that this woman is going to, she could try and lay hands on me. And I don't want these demonic people laying hands on me because I knew that they are fake. They are not from the Lord. They were just pretending. So this woman gets up and then she starts to walk, like uh, to come to where I was seated. And then I knew that there was a chance that she could try to lay her hands on my head. And I didn't want that. Because when, when a demonic person lays hands on you, it's, there is a demonic impartation. You know, they are not, because the laying of hands is very spiritual. It's either they can impart of the spirit of God or they impart of that demonic spirit. So we need to be careful who lays hands on us. So I got up from my chair because I didn't want that woman to lay hands on me. I got up from my chair and then I also started to counter her prayer. I also started to speak in tongues of the Holy Spirit. And she was speaking demonic tongues and I was speaking the tongues of the Holy Spirit. And when I started to, to speak in tongues, then this woman, this woman just starts to manifest demons. She just started to manifest demons. You know, she was so out of control, like a demonic possessed person. She was out of control, like she was just all over the place, you know, and screaming. But she was still trying by all means to gain control of herself and continue with, you know, like what she was pretending to be because she wanted to pretend to be a prophetess. And then I... I, I got my right hand and then I stretched it out towards her. I didn't touch her. I stretched out my hand towards her and I said, in the name of Jesus Christ. And when I said in the name of Jesus Christ, that's how this lady just screamed out and it was extremely embarrassing. And then what I realized was that this whole thing that was happening was actually happening in front of a crowd of people. Like there were some people who had come thinking that this, these two people were servants of God and they had been deceiving people that they are prophets, you know, that uh, the man was a prophet, the woman was a prophetess. So all these people had seen what had happened to their leaders, that they were fake and demonic, and the lady was manifesting demons right there in front of the, of the church. That's when I realized that it was like a church setting you know, where we were. I was at the front with them, but they were, then I realized that there were some people and they were watching. And this woman just kept on manifesting. And then I could sense in the spirit that both of these people were extremely angry that God had exposed them, that they are fake prophets. And then the scene changed. And then I saw myself in this place but then when i wanted to move that's when i realized that there was some sort of a wall a barrier had been put up against me and then when it, it was it seemed like a really huge barrier that had just been created all of a sudden like a wall it was like a wall and when i saw it Immediately, I knew in the spirit that it was those two people who had been exposed who were trying to block my way now. And then I knew that God is still powerful enough to make a way where there's no way. And then I started to say, I'm calling upon the God who makes a way where there's no way. And I started to call upon him. I started to call upon the God who makes a way where there's no way. And when I did that, 
And then I heard the voice of the Lord. And then he spoke to me. And then he, he said to me, this year, 2023, I am going to embarrass a lot of false prophets who are speaking lies in my name. And I'm going to expose a lot of false prophets to my people so that they are not deceived. That was what the Lord told me. So those two are the messages that the Lord gave me for the year 2023. Firstly, there, that there is going to be a lot of angelic activity on the earth. The Lord said that angels are going to be your friends. But the Lord said that he is calling us to just give ourselves up to the Lord completely and to be connected to his throne. He has, he has given out an invitation to us that even though we are on earth and the throne of God is in heaven, that we don't have a barrier, that we have access to the throne of God. And the Lord is calling us into that greater intimacy. But the Lord was saying that he is releasing a lot of angels to the earth this year to minister to his children. And also the second message is that the Lord this year is going to embarrass a lot of false prophets. They are going to be embarrassed. So many false prophets. The Lord is going to embarrass them and the Lord is going to expose them to his children because the Lord doesn't want us to be deceived. So we're still at the beginning of the year and so many people are making so many resolutions about, about uh, how they want to spend this year. But the best way that you can spend this year is in the presence of God. Make, up, uh, make one of your resolutions to spend less time on social media, less time on all the things that take up your time and more time in prayer, more time reading the word, more time singing and worshiping the Lord, more time in the secret place. And you're going to see by the end of the year, your spiritual life is not going to be the same. So we seek the Lord while he can still be found. And the Lord is extending his invitation to us.